that's your bib when you get to the top. Five, four, three, two, one, go! We'll see you back at the lodge, everybody. Have a great day. I'm at the Y East Trail Fest. It's a weekend of racing at Mount Hood, at, at uh, Mount Hood Meadows actually. And Daybreak Racing puts it on. And I'm gonna be sweeping all three races, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So today is a 14K and the runners just took off and I'm slowly following behind, looking for any garbage, goo packs or whatever. <laughs> decide to throw down. Hopefully they don't throw anything down. But, um, anyway, it's supposed to be a beautiful day. Probably like 70, 75 degrees. And the views are amazing. I was just chatting with my wife and I was wanting to know what the cutoff was for this race. And she takes me back and said that it's um, four and a half hours. So it puts it at about a 30 minute pace or an average pace of, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's pretty generous, I think. But then again, it's, it does go up to 8,000 feet and it's pretty much a steady climb from the start all the way up to 8,000 feet. flies are eating me up. I would have thought that there would be horse flies like this. And, I mean, I'm going so slow, I'm almost I mean, to keep my pace close to a 30 minute average, I'm having to stop and take lots of pictures. Um, every time I stop, the, the horse flies just they like have a potluck on my back and my legs. I didn't think to bring bug spray. I never use it. I never even need it. I'll check this out. So we started right down. Let's see if I can get my finger right. Right in there. Somewhere down there. Alright. And then up to 8,000 feet. Let's do it. so hard to not run right now. This is going to teach me patience, build character. Now, really, I needed, I really needed just a weekend of, of hiking and just taking it kind of easy. Because I've done, I've already done 450Ks this month. And, um, I want to do one tomorrow, and I'll be I'll be hiking, you know, doing the sweeping thing. So I'll be taking it easy. I kind of need that. I got the KT coming up in a couple weeks, so I really feel my legs are really fatigued. So I need to let them heal and do whatever they need to do. Oh, look here, you can you can see see Mount Jefferson off in the distance there. Right there. Get my hand out of the way. Let me zoom in. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, that was weird. 
right, down the hill just a little bit and then I think we're gonna make a left and then climb up to 8,000 feet. This is shaky, forgive me. But I'm doing this on my iPhone. I, I, did, I thought about bringing the GoPro and I thought, well, I'm not gonna do any videos because I thought I was gonna be sweeping with someone. And I don't know if they didn't show up or if I'm misunderstood. And um, if I'd been sweeping with someone, I probably wouldn't have recorded anything. And then when I found out that I was all by myself, I decided to just go ahead and make a little video of my sweeping experience. Just got to be, pay attention and make sure I don't miss any trash. It'd be bad, wouldn't it? A couple of days later, I get an email. And race, race, race director was like, hey man, you missed all kinds of garbage up here. What were you doing? Uh, making a video. You don't realize what goes into these races until you volunteer. At least I don't think you do. I've been been racing for something like 10 years. That probably changes every, <laughs> every time I mention it in a video, but I think it's been about 10 years. And I never volunteered. But yesterday, um, which was Thursday, I, I helped set up the start or the finish line and the his swag boost and all that stuff. And I'll tell you what, it's really humbling. And I really give kudos to these race directors that go all out and just put on amazing races. There's so much work, so much um, stuff just goes into it. I mean, the, the amount of items they have that they have to set up was just crazy and if you haven't volunteered volunteer it will give you a different outlook on what goes into these races it gives you a new appreciation and especially for the races or the race directors that for the most part that are making some money off these races um after seeing, you know, kind of behind the scenes and the amount of equipment and stuff they have, it just doesn't seem like, especially with this race, they've got a, a payout, I think on the 50K, I don't know how much it is. It's quite, quite a bit, but for first place, there's a pretty good chunk of money. And I know part of that is sponsored, but um, anyway, I was gonna say is, these race makers that make money Good for them, they should. I used to have the mindset that all trail races need to be, you know, funding a charity or something. And I don't think that way now. And I, mean, I really haven't thought that way in a few years, but uh, now there is some races that the price is just outrageous. All right, this mountain is kicking my butt. Pretty little waterfall up there. I think the I think the first aid station is right here. Yep. So that was aid station one. Um, they were cheering me on, and I was like, "Yeah, sweeper!" And they started laughing. Um, it's a good group of volunteers right there. Um, this race is sponsored by Gnarly Nutrition and Spring Energy Gels. Um, I guess it's just they're sponsored by Spring Energy. Anyway, they, they gave me a apple cinnamon pie. Kind of hungry. I know that <laughs> gel won't, won't help me with my hunger, but it is um, 180 calories. Pretty big packet. Um, I tried it. I probably tried spring gels once. It 
at Bigfoot, and they weren't too bad. But I didn't try the apple cinnamon pie, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. It's nice. You got the little little tab keeper, I guess, on it. A little bit gnarly here. I'm trying to be conservative with my battery because um could potentially be out here for four hours. Well, not now, but like probably got like three and a half more hours. I'm chewing through my iPhone battery recording video, but I had to get this. I got two, two um, runners right there. I'm trying to stay back far enough from them. I don't crowd them, make them feel like they need to hurry up but at the same time I also want to push them just ever so slightly um, because we are I'm at a 31 minute average now so any slower and they won't make the cutoff but but the course is downhill once we get up to 8,000 feet, we turn around and come back down. So they'll make up plenty of time then. Except for these gnarly sections, you have to be go, go pretty slow coming back down. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood but then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that I can kneel it all if you're patient and soon it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please, you're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man Life is a nuisance, life's a nuisance I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass half wish I know, it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life has got a halo I'm standing there. Long way up Hey, you can see the Mount Hood Meadows Lodge and that was where the start was. tagged 8,000 feet. I like that they had hole punches for your bib. You know, you punch your bib. Let me move the camera out a little bit. At the turnaround up there. Um, it's kind of a 
I mean, you'd like to think people don't cheat in races, but I think the whole point you kind of keep people honest. Back into the tree line, um, running close to cutoff, a couple young athletes in front of me, they're pushing hard. It's gonna be close, but I think they're gonna make it. I don't even know where the hump out ever. <laughs> She's gonna do this. And then it's just fair. This is so awesome. He did it. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I just ate. They gave me a, a burrito on the house for sweeping today. I, I do it for the burritos. All right, I'm gonna head home, take a shower, and I'll be back here in the morning, sweep the 50K. So as I was leaving, the race director told me that tomorrow, there's gonna be a couple people joining me for my sweeping duties, or for the sweeping duties. I shouldn't say my sweeping duties. So, I don't know if I'll record or not. Um, so if I don't record tomorrow, I'll just go ahead and say, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.